Airedale Terrier. The Airedale Terrier's main claim to fame is that it's the biggest of all terriers. Known as the King of Terriers, the Airedale's origins date back to the mid-19th century in England. The Yorkshire working class wanted a tough, intelligent, large terrier type to pursue rats and vermin on farms and also to accompany hunting groups in the country. The Airedale was later used in Britain for applications such as a farm dog, guide dog, police dog, war dog, and hunting dog. The reliable and intelligent Airedale can make a great family pet. Not only is the Airedale a versatile working breed, but it is also an excellent family guard dog and loyal companion. Airedales are known for being independent and highly intelligent. They need plenty of obedience training and places to expend their high energy. Airedale Terrier Size and Weight The Airedale Terrier is a medium-sized dog that usually weighs between 50 and 65 pounds, though it can weigh up to 80 pounds. Height for males is usually about 24 inches, with females being slightly shorter at 22 to 23 inches. There is an Orung strain of Airedales that weighs in the 80 to 120 pound range. This strain of the breed was developed back in the 1920s. Airedale puppies typically weigh about 10 pounds and are 10 inches tall at the age of 8 to 10 weeks. Airedales don't usually reach their full adult size until between 1 and 2 years of age. Airedale Terrier Common Health Issues The Airedale is a generally healthy breed, but they do have a few common health issues. It's important to be aware of the breed's potential health issues before pursuing a purchase. A good breeder should be able to show you health clearances for hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, von Willebrand's disease, and hypothyroidism. The most common issues with Airedales are hip dysplasia and eye problems that result in vision loss. Hip dysplasia is a common problem in larger breeds and affects the dog's ability to move around when they get older. Another problem to look out for in Airedales is gastric dilatation volvulus, which is also commonly called bloat. It can happen if the dog exercises too soon after eating. Airedales may suffer from food and contact allergies as well. Lastly, von Willebrand's disease is a blood clotting disorder that may affect Airedales between 3 and 5 years of age. Airedale Terrier Temperament and Behavior The Airedale's most prevalent personality traits include independence, energy and stamina. Airedales exhibit fun-loving and active behavior, which can make them great for a high-energy family with kids. Airedales don't like to be bored. Bored Airedales often engage in destructive behavior like chewing, barking and digging. How to take care of an Airedale Terrier if you're a new pet owner looking for how to care for Airedale Terriers, especially Airedale puppies, then there are a few different factors to consider. Whether it's common health issues like bloat or making sure they get enough exercise and things to interest them, the Airedale has specific needs. Food and diet. The recommended amount for feeding an adult Airedale is 1.5 to 2.5 cups of dry food per day. These amounts should be divided into two meals. Airedale puppies should be fed about one cup of dry puppy food per day divided into two meals. You can use a mix of dry and wet food for your Airedale as well. Look for foods that have fish oil and glucosamine, which help the Airedale's coat and joints. You can also use supplements if necessary. Maintenance and grooming. The Airedale is known as a hypoallergenic breed as they shed rarely to a few times per year. Occasional brushing with a brush made for wiry coats can help remove these dead hairs and keep your Airedale looking civilized. Airedales really only need to visit the groomer once per year. Too much bathing can make the Airedale's coat too soft. The coat can be trimmed with clippers or with a stripping knife. Most groomers use a mix of both techniques. Training. Compared to other breeds, the Airedale Terrier is challenging to train. They are very independent with a stubborn streak. They need plenty of positive reinforcement and yelling or roughness doesn't work well on them. However, Airedales are also very intelligent, which means they do respond to creative and stimulating training. Make sure to start training early to avoid any willfulness setting in. Airedale Terrier Exercise Airedales need plenty of exercise and entertainment. They were bred as working dogs, and they will get bored easily if they have nothing to do. The best situation for an Airedale is a large property with a tall fence. Then they can run and explore to their heart's content. If you don't have that, you'll have to ensure that your Airedale gets daily walks and or time at a park where he can run free. Airedale Terrier Puppies Airedale puppies need to be trained and socialized from a young age. 
they have a lot of energy and curiosity. They also like to chew, so it's important that you provide plenty of approved chewing objects to keep them from finding shoes and furniture to chew on. Airedale Terrier and Children Airedales are typically good with children when socialized early. They have incredible protective instincts and can sense who is part of their family and who isn't. They will often protect and guard their children when strangers are present. However, Airedale puppies are very rambunctious and larger than the average puppy, which means they can be too much for small children in some cases. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please if you are enriched by our video like so YouTube can show this to more people, subscribe and share we will really appreciate it thanks.